Today we're diving into Mad Thunder, the War Thunder April Fools event that's like trying to find a camping spot on the Easter weekend. It's pretty fun, it actually feels like coastal boats in the desert. And so I'm pretty familiar with all these weapons and moving at high speed. I've only played a couple of games and the team mode is the best. I like to think that there's three phases to the match and the first phase is to try and get as much resources as possible and get out of dodge. Now that we're at full resources, I don't think it's wise to try and fight the enemy so we're trying to scout out a way out of here without having to fight anyone so we can get rid of these and bank them. We don't want to waste any lives, you need to stay alive. I think if we head far south, we've got some of our allies that are farming there. They'll give us some support and some warning if there are any, any enemies about. I'm not too sure where the enemy evac is. If it's near where we are, we're going to run into the enemy. If it's somewhere else, we might get lucky. Let's stay with our friends for now. We will go around the back of these buildings and try and weave our way to the bottom of the map and then we will head west. We're a little bit exposed now. Keep an eye out for enemy fire. Once we get over the crest of this hill, we should be safe. Just a straight run now, I think. Awesome, we're gonna make it home. Some enemy contact, but too late. Touchdown. Expecting contact this time, we've got the faster vehicle, but we're going for the same tactic, trying to get as much as we can and get off the map before the storm gets here. Still have allies in that very southern base, so I may be able to sneak through the same way, but we need to look for supplies too. Try and do a tricky cinematic shot. Ah, oh, failed. Looks like we have contact over to the west. Let's try and sneak through to get to that supply base. Oh, we're taking hits. Fire back. We've lost the driver. Shoot, which one is it? That guy there. Go shoot him. We lost our driver, so we've lost our gunner because he's now a driver. We've lost our armament, so we've lost our ability to scout and collect goods by ourselves. We have to stay with our team. We can't risk going south. Those two allies to the south either evac'd or died, so we can't risk it. We have to form up. Try and find some scavenge. Come on, we need to find something. Alright, we have to be super sneaky now. The team spread out all over the map, so we're gonna to have to make our way south. I think I might take the same route I took before. That way there's some 
allies between us and the enemy. They're getting whittled down. But I'm confident if I can get into that little gully, I'll be able to get through. This will be the risky part. We don't know what's over the hill. And we have a bad guy already to the right. Get out of there, turn left. Taking some shots. He only has to hit the driver to kill us. Almost to the evac zone, but I think I'm... I can't control the... Oh no, we're having disconnect, and I'm off the battlefield. Come on, reverse! Reverse, reverse, reverse. We have two seconds. Oh, thank goodness. Nearly got guy -gened. Let's get home. Second touchdown. Yes. All right, now we can afford to fight a bit and we've got the bigger truck with more capacity. I'm very familiar with this weapon. It's mounted on my favorite torpedo boat, the V990. It looks like our allies are tangled up with some bad guys, so let's get over the hill and see if we can offer some support, and then we can scavenge their carcass. Let's drift over the top of the sand. Go blam, there's a bad guy. Is he? No, he's no, no threat. Oh wait, he is a threat. I thought he was burning to death. Where is he at? Shoot out to about 1.5 kilometers easily with this gun. Clipping his gunner, no major damage. Getting this bad boy to the touchdown will be worth the same amount as the last two vehicles, so we need to find some stuff. Looks like it's a major battle ahead. There are a lot more enemies than allies. Let's get ready to fight. Look at this guy rolling down the hill on fire. He's in trouble. It's going to take him a while to repair that, so let's get it in his face. Slide in and blast him. Allies hungry for the kill too. But that's my rage point. Unfortunately, he wasn't carrying anything. Time is starting to run out. We're five minutes left. We need to find some scrap. There's some scrap here, maybe? a little bit down there, but it's not worth backing in there. It's a start. Some more up ahead, perhaps. Let's go, let's go. No sign of the enemy at the moment. Keeping an ever watchful ear and eye out. There we go, more vehicle parts. Half full. We've got enemies up ahead. Two enemies. And I started blasting. Out of ammo. There he is, he's secured. Enemy up front. Through the magazine, exploding the ammunition. More bad guys. Can barely see that one.
We know he's coming. There he is. Shoot him. Oh, I can't quite get that rear gunner out of ammunition. I have to pull back. I've got another guy coming up on the left in a moment, I think. Yeah, there he is. See the top of his vehicle. I've got to kill him before his friend wakes up. Now back to the friend. Double kill. Triple kill. Mega kill. <laughs> now everyone knows where I am, so it's in my best interest to stay away from my allies and get out of here. Not very lucky finding any resources on the dead enemies. We just have to run. Okay, more than half full. That's pretty good. Let's head to evac. We may get lucky. Find some scrap on a corpse of an enemy. Or a friendly even. Oh shit, there's a bad guy. Oh, one chap. Thank you very much, sir. Let's see if you're holding anything that we may be able to use. We have to hurry, though. We've got a shining beacon on the minimap. Oh, beautiful. 16 electronic items. Almost a full, full load. I think we will go home. Three touchdowns, no deaths. Nice. I'm Commander Tyrael. This was Mad Thunder. Like and share and subscribe for more.